What is up, Omash Nation? How are you doing today? I hope you're doing awesome and are ready for an epic battle style showdown. <laughs> That's right, for the first time on the channel, we have both of the ETBs, the single strike and the rapid strike, and they are <laughs> going to battle. We're gonna check them out. We're gonna see which one is better, which fighting style comes out on top. I have a feeling that Rapid Strike is going to win today. You have to let me know in the comments which one you think is going to win. And I'm just excited to open Battle Styles because we haven't been able to open that much product so far on the channel because some things just haven't been shipped out to me yet. But we'll get into that later. You know the deal guys. Hit that luck button. I need your help today to pull some heat. Let's open everything up and let's get going on the showdown. All right, guys, everything's unpacked. You can see it all in front of us. We got some epic things. Here are the code cards for you guys. Good luck with the polls there. And I realize this is the first time opening uh, the ETB. So the things I like to check out are the dice, nice red versus the blue. I like the blue ones way better. I'm just a blue guy though. I'm not, red's not my favorite color in the world. Then we got some very nice Urshifu and Urshifu, <laughs> they're both Urshifu's, uh, sleeves, I actually kind of like the pose of the single strike one on this, but awesome sleeves right there. We got the typical damage counters, energies, dividers, and we got the books. I actually really like how the ETBs look in this set. Those boxes look so good. And let's check out, flip through this, get a nice refresher course on all the cards in the set. We like to do it every single time. Giant set. Bunch of cool cards, but not my favorite cards. That's why I'm not going for the master set. But let's get let's get to the goodies. Let's get to the goodies already. Man, the set just keeps going. Here we go. The fun stuff. Alternate arts going on everywhere. If we could pull an alternate art today, that would be awesome. Then we get into the rainbows with some of the secret rare alternate art cards. Oh my goodness. So beautiful, absolutely amazing. And then the gold cards. Oh, that Houndoom is so sweet, and I need that one. <laughs> I still need it. So very nice, I'm excited for today's opening. I love new sets, and like I said guys, I think Rapid Strike's gonna win, so we're gonna open Rapid Strike last. We're starting off with the single strike. Ooh, that artwork looks sick. How do you not like Urshfu? Seriously, Urshfu looks so good. Absolutely love it. But here we go, here we go. Starting it off, can we get some first pack magic? Hopefully because I have a lot of cards that I do want to pull and get graded in this set. Uh, specifically, <laughs> all of the Urshfus, and then all of the alternate arts. Age of Slash, and then a Drampa the Grampa. Tyranitar art next. You know, everyone, is loving the Tyranitar, rightfully so. Beautiful card, it is amazing, but I don't think it's my favorite card in the set. I would much rather get the Rapid Strike Urshifu Alternate Art Secret Rare. That thing looks insane. I want that so bad for my collection. Pig Knight, Corviknight V, not too bad. We'll set the hits back here for each box so we can remember which ones uh, what has been pulled per box. But yeah, other than that, I've only watched a few people open ETBs on their own channels, and things have been looking rough. <laughs> Guys, like TCG Funhouse opened a box and he pulled one normal hollow in the whole box. All eight packs, and you got one hollow. I, that looked like a hollow, but no, that's actually a pretty sweet artwork right there. So yeah, these ETBs seem to be pretty harsh, but then again, I did watch Shining Edith have a nice little pack battle with some ETBs, and her ETB was nuts. She pulled the single strike uh, alternate art VMAX card, and the normal single strike VMAX Urshfu. So, pretty epic box right there. And so far, oh, there's one. I will take that all day long. Very nice single strike Urshifu. This is the normal full art, not an alternate art, but still beautiful. I want all of these cards. What are the chances of pulling the actual single strike Urshifu out of the single strike box? Pretty crazy. That just means we got to get the rapid strike one out of the rapid strike box, right? But guys, hopefully you're enjoying this stuff. 
I love opening packs. Like seriously, the weekend comes and it is the best times because that is when I get to open all of my packs. Finally unleash all of the nice single strike artwork right there. All of the pent up uh, patience and anxiety and whatever you want to call it. Because I want to open packs all the time it's during the week, but I can't <laughs> because I need to wait and save things for the recordings uh, for the Omash Nation. And so the weekends are just the best for me. Love that artwork there. Core Fish, Salandit, Roly Coley, Esper, Cacturn. Speaking of Cacturn, guys, my Comia binder is almost complete and it is amazing. A full binder full of art like this. Oh, it's so good. Ooh, very nice looking octillery. Two packs left on this Rapid Strike ETB. Um, but yeah, guys, I, you know, I think I've already explained this, but watch the video from SM Pratt. Uh, and he was just sharing other ways to collect, you know, still enjoy Pokemon even during these tough times. And he suggested picking Victini V. Very nice, very nice. What did he say? Picking an artist that you like. There are so many artists who draw up all of these Pokemon cards, and so many of them are so good. They're all talented, and so finding, you know, the one that you want and then making a complete binder of every single card they've ever made. This, it's been so much fun, let me tell you. Mian Xiao and Jillicent. This is actually Komiya right there as well. You can see right there. Tomokazu Komiya. Such unique artwork, so cool. I love the hand drawnness. But yeah, that binder is almost done and I'm pumped. And this, this ETB did pretty good. We got a full art and two Vs. We will take it. Let's see if the Rapid Strike can actually win, like I guessed. I have been uh, doing pretty good in the guessing games lately, which is pretty uh, rare for me. <laughs> but um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see who wins. Whoa, see that's a cool artwork. So many, and that's Nogimiso? Just so many cool, you, Komiya right there. So many cool styles. So I would, can't wait to, you know, create some more. Steelix, love that artwork too. I don't know which artist I'm gonna go for next. So many good ones. But some artists are just like, uh, like Arita. <laughs> One of the first, been here since the very beginning. He has thousands of cards. And so a binder set or collection of that is a little overwhelming, <laughs> but you can do whatever you want. That is the best part of collecting. Age of Slash. Oh, a single strike. Urshifu, Urshifu <laughs> VMAX. Very nice. Today's just the single strike kind of day. Love that guy. Beautiful. Love the artwork. Love the texture. Just love it all. I love all the Urshifu cards. Um, I don't know. We'll ask you guys, what do you guys think? Do you prefer a VMAX card like that or do you like the full arts a little better? I have no idea. Uh, one thing that, you know, has been a hot topic is the quality of battle styles. It seems like the quality control is all over the place. We've seen tons of cards miscut. Even these packs are like poorly stamped, kind of beat up. Um, and what else? The We can see it right here probably. Here's your code card first. Let's see, look at this energy card. You can just tell it's like off colored. I don't know if the lighting is good enough to tell. Um, but yeah, m most of the complaints are, you know, miscut, badly cut cards, kind of like Burning Shadows. Um, and Alex Hodges, good friend of mine, he came up with the idea that it is because Oh, this artwork is sick. Love that Luxray from Coda. From Coda. He thinks that Pokemon is expanding their printing facilities. You know, the places that make all of the Pokemon cards <laughs> for all of us. He thinks and, and is uh, saying that they're getting more. And so these new companies are printing out all of these battle style sets right now, cards. Um, and they're just working out all the kinks. They're figuring out how the heck to do all this stuff. Core fit! Oh, what? 
Oh, a Stalin V. I didn't even know this was in the set. <laughs> but look at that colorful background. We got rainbows going on. Beautiful card. I like it. Stalin's not my favorite Pokemon in the, in the world, but that's pretty solid. We got a full art and a V, guys. Gonna be hard to beat. Like I said, rapid strike in the house. <laughs> um, and you know what? Going back to what we were talking about, I think Alex is onto something. I think that totally makes sense as to why the quality of this set is just so bad compared to everything else because... Um, none of the other Sword and Shield sets, for the most part, obviously every set has stuff here and there. No, no printing company is perfect, but for the most part, the other sets have been pretty dang good. <laughs> pretty flawless, I'd say. Um, but then all of a sudden for battle styles to be completely different, doesn't make sense other than, you know, new, new challenges, new companies, new print shops, whatever you want to call it. As we get into last pack magic, let's get it right here. So yeah, that is exciting for all of us, right? More printing means more product, more things for all of us to hopefully get in our hands and open up. So pretty exciting stuff, guys. I think Pokemon definitely knows that we are all struggling getting product and things are getting pretty stressful regarding all of that. Electabuzz, can we get a hit for the last pack magic? No, just a very nice Fall Links art by Hasuno. But guys, tough call. We got two Vs and a rapid strike or single strike full art right there. Or we got a Stoutland V and a single strike Urshfu VMAX. I'm gonna stick with my rapid strike winning, but you'll have to let me know what you think. Either way, that was super fun. I love battle styles. I love opening any packs, especially with the Omash Nation. So thank you for being here. Thanks for all the love and the support. Remember to hit that subscribe button so that we can keep on growing and keep doing fun things together. And I hope you guys have the best rest of the day and I will catch all of you guys next time.